so glad to bring you this program chatting from the word through your YouTube station we hope and pray that you all are watching it and learning uh, from what Brother Oscar is teaching from the word of God and, and we hope it, that you all are, are listening to our radio show at 2 uh, my time central time and 11 pacific time brother Chris time uh, because we are going to have a good uh, show t this evening if everything worked correctly and Brother Chris will be bringing uh, the message. Again, good morning to all of you that's watching and we're so glad that you are. Uh, we uh, hope and pray, as I just said, that you're learning from God's Word because the only place, the only thing we can come from when it comes to anything spiritual, is from the Word of God. Before we continue, I want to say a prayer because it's something I do want to discuss with you before we go further. So if you can, would you please pray with me? Our Father, which are in heaven, Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Father, for the many blessings you brought our way. Father, we thank you for our health and our strength. Father, we thank you just for the privilege to call you our Father. Because it was Jesus Christ who made it all possible for that to happen. To connect us back with you in a relationship so beautiful. And Father, we thank you for sending your Son, the only begotten Son, Jesus, down here on earth to die for each and every one of us so that we may be saved in his body, only in his body. We pray for those that are watching, Father. We pray that you be with them, guide them, strengthen them, help them through any elements that they are facing, any problems they feel like they cannot overcome. Show them through, the, through your word that they can overcome anything that Satan may bring their way. And Father, we come praying for the program today. We pray that we have a good program and we can spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. We pray for the, the, the tragedy that happened here in the great city of Dayton, Ohio, in the Oregon district. We pray for each family that lost a loved ones. And we know, Father, that that can't be easy when you lose someone so dear. And we pray for the city of Dave. We pray for the whole state of Ohio. That you help them to see you, Father, and see you only. Because you, the only one, can save us and to bring us to a place of safety. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. I, I want to discuss what happened this weekend. Uh, the tragedy here in the city of Dayton. Although we live in Miamisburg, but Dayton is just a suburb of Dayton. It's not too far. And the area that was hit, I have traveled that area many times. My son, he stays not too far from that area. While well, these events happened where nine got killed and I think 27 fatalities. My friend, what I want to say is the world is getting at a place that just doesn't care anymore. The world is getting a place where someone can just pull a rifle and shoot as many people as they desire. Look at what has transpired so far this year. 250 mass murders. Three, so far this week. And we must ask ourselves the question, what's going on? What's going on here 
And I believe, I believe, and, 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 and correct me if I'm wrong, that Satan is the, a big part of what's going on. When, when we look as wrong as being right and right being wrong, when we begin to go against what God has set forth, I truly believe that we are putting ourselves in danger. I believe that we are putting ourselves on the path of destruction. I believe we're allowing Satan to be a part of our thinking. Uh, I believe the reason why we, we, we look at what happened over the weekend as a tragedy, and which it is. It's a big tragedy. And the main thing Brother Oscar wanted to say is we, we, we need to start looking at what God looks at and the way he's looking at it. And this message is just, I want to talk to the church, though, church people. If you call yourself a church person, you know any sin to God is terrible, regardless of what it is. Though this young man over the weekend killed nine people, and they had to kill him. Fatalities over 26 people. Although in El Paso, that young man killed 20 people. And then last week in California, three. And many fatalities. And it does it. We, 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 we as a group of people, we do, we, yeah, that's terrible. But the Oscar is not saying uh, that is not terrible. But that's when we start looking at sin. When we start, when we face it in that magnitude. But I'm here to tell you, my friend, to God, to God, sin is sin. And it doesn't matter what the sin is. So my, 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 my plea to the church today. What we need to do is stop fighting each other and start doing what Christ tells us to do as he want it to be done. And I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, that the problem is we as the body of Christ not doing what we need to be doing. We are the remnant. We are supposed to be uh, the, the mouthpiece for Christ. We supposed to be the body of Christ. We supposed to be Christ-like and Christ himself. Not Christ, but we supposed to do the things Christ would want us to do. And, and, and my friends, if I'm wrong, give me a call on it. We are failing. We are terribly failing at that. I believe that if God would have to grade us, I believe we would get an F. Because we are not doing what we should do as the body of Christ. To win souls for Christ. You know, it's no excuse for a church of Christ not to have as many in service, not to have his pews filled, not to be uh, uh, not to be out there either knocking on doors, telling something somebody about Christ and living the life. I believe many of us that are in the body of Christ and we're not going to admit it. We are doing what the world is doing. We, 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 we're going to clubs. We're drinking the beer, like beer and alcohol. We're cursing. We, 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 the world cannot see the difference in us. But the question is, when they come, when you invite them to the services, are they seeing the difference in the services? Are your friends seeing the difference in our worship? Are your friends seeing the difference and when you bring them to the body of Christ, to our worship on the first day of the week, are they seeing the difference in you? 
Are you telling them them about Jesus Christ or are you embarrassed to say you're a Christian? Are you embarrassed? Many of us are. Have you tell your neighbors about Christ? Do they know you're a Christian? Or are you just say good morning and that's it? And they got to guess. He must or she must be a Christian. I believe this morning if we if we get off our some of us lazy duff I'm not talking about everybody. Because that might that probably include me too. It's to tell our neighbors about Christ. In many ways we can tell them. We can tell them what our life we live. Stop doing the same thing they do. Stop indulging in what they're doing and show them the difference. And I believe the reason why the world is so bad today, we that are Christians are not doing what we're supposed to be doing. Just to be Christ-like. I see it on Facebook. I see it in the community I live. I see it everywhere. And the question we must ask ourselves, where is Christ? Where can he be found? You wonder why things happen like he does? Look at the community. If you wonder why things happen as they do, do look at the church. If you wonder why things is happen like they are happening, look at us. We that call ourselves a member of the body of Christ, we need to get to work. Let me read this before we go to the lesson. And uh, cause see Christ, and I, I think some of us we fail to understand the message of the gospel, and what our job is to do as as Christians, and as those that truly believe in the Word of God. Jesus says this before he went into heaven. Said these. This was the last statement that, that Christ made. Most of you know probably where I'm, <laughs> where I'm headed to Matthew. <laughs> to Matthew 28. And these are the last words that Jesus said to his disciples. And we today are his disciples also. The Bible says in verse, it will begin with verse 18. The Bible says this, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. Or the end of time of the world. Amen. We're not taking what Christ said there seriously. Because if we take it seriously, the house, the, the church, <laughs> oh, worship place would be filled. If we take it seriously, you were supporting ministry like chatting from the Word. You were supported. Uh, if you are interested, or if you are thinking that the gospel is important, you will support us here at chatting from the Word. I know what you think. I, I I know what you're thinking. You don't even much to tell Brother Oscar what you're thinking. You thinking why should I support Brother Oscar? Why should I send him a dollar a month, ten dollars a month, twenty dollars a month, thirty dollars a month? Because the message that we have on Long Talk Radio, the message I, I I'm, I'm I'm passing to you here, I share with you on YouTube has a great impact to bring souls to Jesus Christ. And if you truly believe that, if you truly believe what Jesus said to go into all the world and this 
message, these shows, sent from word, word, we send it out to everybody. You will support that if you truly want to see people come to Christ. Dayton, Ohio, you will support this if you truly believe that our communities need to be better. You will support this and share this show with others if you truly believe that the community we live in need Jesus Christ. Don't you know that young men who kill all those people on Sunday, early Sunday morning at 1, if he would have heard the message of Jesus Christ, if he would have seen this show on YouTube, the change that it would make made in his life. Think about it. If he would have seen the shows that we're talking about coming to Christ and once you come to Christ and he be and he thinks about because I know he's on the internet all the time before he did that mass shooting, think about it. He would have came to Christ. Those nine souls that are dead today, and I, I'm not sure what their what their religious belief is or was, they would have had a chance to hear the gospel if they would be alive today. You understand the point Brother Oscar is making? If you support a program like this, the change they would make. If you would share a show like this, the change that it would make in someone's life. Think about that. I want you to think about that because the world needs Jesus Christ. So support us. Subscribe to me here on YouTube. Subscribe to me. Watch my show. Our show. Christ's show. This show where we're talking about Jesus Christ. Where we're trying to guide one to the light. Where we're trying to correct people that believe in denominationalism. Well, we try to correct those in the body of Christ who believe that they can worship any old kind of way. So help Brother Oscar to, 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 to beef up this show. Help me to where I can uh, have a better showing. Help me so I can improve on my showing. Help me so I can continue on telling others about how good God is. All right, y'all. I'm off my soapbox, y'all. <laughs> the lessons that a series I want to bring next. I know last time we watched it, we didn't we didn't come on last week because we didn't have the numbers. We have the numbers now. And the show before that, we were talking about uh, instrumental music and and went went to Amos and and God said, "Get this noise, your songs." And your vows away from me. I will not hear them. And we said how after that they change and and instrumental music was not used until uh, 900 CE or 1400 CE. So what Brother Oscar wants to do today is to talk about, and this has been a big <sighs> argument or debate in the body of Christ. Uh, 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 praise team versus song leader. Some believe that we can have a praise team. Some believe that we just need one song leader leading the song and directing it, making sure all the voices blend beautifully together. So this lesson is going to cover praise team or the song leader. Now, once we look at praise team, we might as well look at the fact that we have a choir. Uh, some praise team, as I see, uh, they might get on stage. It might be 5, 10, 15. Uh, people singing, leading the songs. 
or it might be some sitting down and and using the mic to uplift the the music more as we believe. But if you ask Brother Oscar, to me, a praise team is another way of having a choir. Yeah, Brother Oscar, we, we I recognize on our sh radio show that we play beautiful music from different groups, from individuals, and everything else. But we must understand that's a radio show. It's not worship. It's not worship. And in the body of Christ, our worship day is on the first day of the week. Because through the apostles and through the, the commands of Jesus Christ, that's why we worship on the first day of the week. And most people want to get technical and they want to say, well, uh, just because in this time span uh, you have worship, you all to worship, why is worship? Why is it different from anything and everything else we do? And I'm going to discuss the difference. I'm going to discuss the difference. And I know I'm going to take it this way, but th that's under discussion. What constitutes our worship to God? What constitutes our worship to God? Why at one time is our right to hear a choir and a group or singing? And, and, and of course, all the... Uh, uh, the elements to come with it. But on this Sunday between the hour of 10.30 or 12.30, you can't do it. And, and what I want to, <laughs> and you know it's true. And if, if, if you have uh, something, guess what I just said, like I've said many times, just leave me a message. We can talk about it. And I'm not saying I'm the smartest cookie <laughs> in the cookie jar. And Brother Oscar never said it. He is. But what I'm saying is we need, we need to examine all these things because I truly believe that heaven is too important to miss and hell is too hot to go. <laughs> okay? So that's why I want to bring this lesson. Uh... uh Praise team, that's the word I'm looking for, versus song leader. And this is what we want to discuss in this lesson. I don't know how long it's going to take. It might be a, take a series uh, of lessons. But the scriptures that, and I wrote them down, that we want to look at. Of course, we want to go back to what Amos said a little bit in, in this series. And we want to come from Ephesians 5, 18-19. Colossians 3, 16, Ephesians 2 and 20, and John 17, 19 through 20. Is where we want to take these this study from when it verses praise team a one song leader. All right? And that's where I'm coming from. And why we are coming like that is because many of us in the body of Christ are confused about it. And that's one of Satan's tools. Satan is a, a manipulator. Satan is a thief. Satan is a demon. <laughs> I'm not laughing because of that, but he is. And, and, and we should know that Satan would, 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 would confuse anything and everybody. I remember watching this cartoon. I don't know if y'all seen it before. Uh, this cartoon, I forgot the name of the cartoon. And they had these little men in space looking down on the earth. And they said, now, if, I, if, we, if we do this to them, let me see how they will react. If we do that to them, let me see how they react. And they had the power to control their minds. And, and they did that. And they seen the reaction. 
And, and the reaction was, you should have seen the cartoon. It, it was it was laughable, but at the same time, it had a meaning to it. And, and to me, Satan is like that. Satan is saying, now let me see if I, if I just put this person in place and put him in there. Let me see what he's going to do. Let me see what the people is going to do. Let me see how it's going to occur. We, we as people, we as people, we get so weak that we would accept anything or anybody that sound good. We have become a set of people that accept anything when it comes to what we call religion. Anybody can come in and sometime confuse us. That what was happening in the book of Corinthians. We're going to go to Corinthians 2 in this study. Where I believe Corinthians 1.15. Where Paul will tell me how many of them who did not believe in the resurrection. And the resurrection occurred. Jesus rose from the dead. Many believe. But don't you know that many of those Corinthians mind will be changed and did not believe in the resurrection knowing that many of them did see Christ rose. That's how many of us can be confused today. Just put in a small element of doubt. Many people today will go in a different direction. Listen to what Paul said in, in, in 1 Corinthians 15. Paul said this. Paul said, now if Christ be preached, that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain? And your faith is also vain? Yea! And we are found false witnesses of God because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ whom he raised not. He raised up, he raised not up. It shall be that the dead rise not. And if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised? And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sins. That they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perish. Even this life, only we have hope in Christ. We are all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and became and become the first fruits of uh, them that slept. Here, the suicides are, or see, whoever was coming into the assembly were causing them to believe that Christ did not rise was causing them to believe a lie, even after witnessing Christ's resurrection. I said that to show you how we as people, our minds can be affected, affected if we are listening to the wrong people. And what I'm going to say about the wrong people, yeah, they, yes, they can come to you with the, scriptures and prove that point and show you yes i'm right we can do this and we can do that but i'm here to tell you this morning that if it's not in the word of god don't do it many have changed the names of the churches they using subtitles to call themselves i'm here to tell you if it's not in the bible if god did not say it don't do it we are only the body of Christ, the church of Christ. That's the only name that we can be called if we are a, a child of God. We are in the body of Christ. That's why we are called the church of Christ. Because we are in the body of Christ. It is the body of Christ. And if we are saying something else, well, we are truly saying that this has power over the body of Christ. I can be this plus. It can't be nothing else but 
the body of Christ. Because that's who we are. And that's who we are in. The body of Christ. No need to subtitle anything. And that's why I'm saying we, we allow these. Uh, I'm going to use this term. And I'm not embarrassed to use the term. And many are going to be upset with me. But if we allow these ministers to come in. And, and just because they have a PhDs and a DDDs and all that. And, and want to do change everything with the Bible. With the Bible and show you they're right through the Bible because they are so used to using psychology and psychology they are so prone to mess your minds up and I'm going to show you something and we run out of time but I'm, I'm going to say this some of, them, some of them even have so many classes with you are teaching with you just to brainwash if I could use that term just to brainwash you to believe what they're saying is true. That's why we in the body of Christ must be careful and know the scriptures for ourselves. We're going to end it here, but what, what Brother York wants you to do the next time we meet, because we are going to go over these, these scriptures, Ephesians 5, 18-19, Colossians 3, 16, Ephesians 2, 20, John 17, 19 through 20. And of course, I'll probably bring up uh, the Corinthian, 1st and 2nd Corinthians too. And what I want you to do now is to bow with me in prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, Lord, be thy name. Thy kingdom has come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We again, Father, we pray for the uh, the victims uh, of this mass shooting this weekend in the city of Dayton. We pray for that to be with the families that lost loved ones. We pray for them that you be with the city of Dayton. And especially we pray for them that you be with the body of Christ. Help us to be effective in the community in which we live so that they can see Christ in us. And we pray, Father, for the show we have this evening at 2 my time, 11 o'clock, Brookhurst time. We pray for the listeners that they listen in and be uplifted and we can be able to put a snap in their Christian walk. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. Until the next time, my Christians, brothers and sisters, we see you again. Bye-bye. Your grace.